he's decided to create that kind of tab shape first. And now it looks like he's jumping into a circular pattern of that tab shape. So he gets in there, does a circular pattern, realizes he did four instead of three, and then takes that circular pattern. He did it with a body. When you do a circular pattern of a body, it does not combine. So he had to do that extra combine afterwards, but he was ready for it. It didn't slow him down at all. Let's continue on with our tournament now. Congratulations to Sebastian joining Mr. Alex and Dom in our Elite Eight. Let's see what happens over here on this side of the bracket. We got Ricardo Jean. Now remember, Ricardo won the Spring Open earlier this year. So he's not only looking to move on to the round of eight, he's looking to become the first tournament champion to win multiple titles. Well, here we go. We're gonna move back to the Wheel of Fate. We gotta find out what the Wheel of Fate has in store for these runners. Uh, thank you again to our new sponsor of the Wheel of Fate, Plasticity. If you guys haven't checked them out before, visit them at www.plasticity.xyz. And, uh, of course, let them know that Too Tall Toby sent you. Always appreciate those uh, referrals. Let's give this thing a rip and see what happens. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got a good one here. All right, so drawing number four is going to be what the Wheel of Fate has in store for these runners, and I can't wait to see how they handle this one. So, guys, let's just learn a little bit about Ricardo Jean. Now, again, we said earlier he is our, our, our tournament winner, one of our tournament winners, really, one of our two tournament winners that's in the tournament today. Uh, Ricardo Jean won the Spring Open earlier this year, and he's going to try to become the first uh, dual belt holder, a dual tournament winner here uh, this during this tournament. And he says, I love my wife. She's all to me. So I, I love that that's his first fun fact. That's such a great way to start things and such an important, an important element of success for anyone. So uh, congratulations to Ricardo for that. And says, using SolidWorks since the 2006 version. So 18 years of CAD. Wow. And also my brother and father are designers with SolidWorks. So runs in the family. That's pretty cool. And he's Brazilian and Italian and speaks fluently in both languages. Wow, that is impressive. So good luck to Ricardo Jean and uh, Will G. He says, I mostly design staircases. Well, that is some tricky geometry. If you guys have ever tried to design a staircase, you got a lot going on there. You got fabrication, you got uh, you got sweeps and lofts, you got uh, helices. So you've got all kinds of uh, uh, crazy geometry when you design staircases. And especially if you get into um, uh, uh, staircases that have a lot of, um, uh, the words escaping me, but you know, like uh, decorative. If you get into like a lot of decorative banisters and things like that. Uh, you could really run into some pretty complex geometry. So that's pretty cool. Been self-employed since the start of 2025. Congratulations, Will G. And also teaches SolidWorks. Wow. Okay. So that's that's pretty interesting. That's a little bit of a wild card there. So good luck. We've got a teacher here who probably knows all the ins and outs of SolidWorks. we got Ricardo Jean here, kind of an experienced tournament uh, veteran, been in several tournaments in the past. And uh, and wow, look at this in the chat. Theo Tame says, Will G designed my staircase. And I love it. <laughs> you know, that's awesome. Real-time uh, referral there. That's pretty cool. So guys, listen, I'm going to get my, uh, I'm going to get the uh, production team. I'm going to work with the production team, get this next challenge ready. Let's take a look at our Hypershock video again. This is again from our, our newer sponsor from Zometry. And uh, Zometry can help you if you ever need to get custom parts made, whether it's one single part or a full, full run of many, many parts. Uh, Zometry.com is the website. And let's take a look at how they helped the team from Hypershock, the uh, BattleBots competitor. Hi, I'm Will Bales. And I'm Alex Bales. Together, we engineer crazy fighting robots. Getting custom parts is key to everything we do. That's why we choose Zometry to get on-demand custom manufacturing for prototyping and production. They offer dozens of processes like 3D printing, CNC machining, and sheet cutting. Plus, Zometry's huge network creates massive capacity for production and reliable supply chains. Get started with Zometry today. Zometry, where big ideas are built. So pretty cool stuff. It always brings a smile to my face to see the BattleBots stuff. Uh, my my, One of my roommates and I used to watch BattleBots so much. We watched every season that they had available and, uh, you know, really enjoyed watching them together. So, so cool. Metab says, I love milling machines. Yo, nice. That's what's up. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Let's work. Ricardo Jean says, let's work. Let's get to it. So this 
Cad vs. Cad Battle, featuring Ricardo Jean, our number two seed from Italy, using SolidWorks, going up against Will G, our number 15 seed from France, using SolidWorks. This Cad vs. Cad Battle begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? The tolerance for this part is plus or minus two grams. And this is our tier four part in the mix. So, wow, good luck to both of our runners. Both of our runners are grabbing a screen capture. Both of our runners are jumping into their CAD system and trying to come up with a game plan. And if we flip over to the CAD vs. CAD action, we can see Ricardo Jean on the left using SolidWorks, starting on the top plane, sketching a circle. We see Will G on the right using SolidWorks, starting on the top plane and sketching a circle. Now, looks like both of them have kind of stalled out here a little. They're kind of trying to decide, oh, wait a second, where do I go from here? This is, uh, this is probably the most tricky model that we've seen here in the tournament so far. This is our only tier four, I believe our only tier four model in the mix. Uh, certainly it's the first tier four model that we've seen so far in the tournament. And Ricardo Jean looks like he's gonna start out by doing an extrusion and drawing first blood with that first extrusion. He's decided to create that kind of tab shape first. And now it looks like he's jumping into a circular pattern of that tab shape. So he gets in there, does a circular pattern, realizes he did four instead of three, and then takes that circular pattern he did it with a body when you do a circular pattern of a body it does not combine so he had to do that extra combine afterwards but he was ready for it it didn't slow him down at all and we see, interestingly, it looks like Will G decided to kind of either go back or add another feature here where he's creating a revolved shape. So this is a really interesting approach here. And uh, honestly, when I was uh, doing this model and kind of testing this model, that was more what I gravitated towards was doing the revolve shape rather than doing it as an extrusion. So I was very surprised to see both of them starting out kind of looking down from the top. But uh, this is where maybe having a game plan comes in, comes in handy. You know, we'll see if uh, doing things from the top down is gonna is gonna end up costing Ricardo Jean or if he's gonna be able to navigate through it. It's a little bit tricky because this part has draft on that outer rim. That outer rim is really a conical shape more so than just a straight cylinder. So it is a little bit tricky here uh, to create some of this geometry, but I think that both of our runners at least have a game plan and they're getting into it. We see Ricardo Jean looks like he's doing some kind of, uh, it looks to me like he's doing some kind of multi-body magic there. So although all we can see is kind of that main shape, I think that he's got multiple bodies there. There. We'll see when he shows the tree in a second. And we see that uh, it looks like Will G on the right is still going through and working with that revolved geometry. And again, I got to say that's a solid approach. That's definitely how I would have approached it. Um, just looking at this thing in the cross section of the drawing. Ricardo Jean on the left, of course, a seasoned veteran uh, going through and adding in what is basically like a bolt circle uh, to define where the arcs are that are cutting out those little extra areas in this tabbed washer. This part's called tabbed washer and Ricardo Jean going through there modifying. Look like, look like he maybe modified his, uh, um, what's it called? Feature scope for that extrusion to make sure it was only getting the one. Wow. Talk about having a plan. Ricardo Jean got that first body in place, got that second body in place. Wow, that was, guys, as far as planning goes and creating the geometry, that was really impressive how he was able to have that plan. And Ricardo Jean comes in with an answer in the chat. One, nine, eight, five grams. And that is correct. And wow, wow, wow. Good game to both of our runners. Good game to Ricardo Jean going in and doing a little bit of draft analysis there on the end to show off the draft on that part. Wow, that was cool. Nice work, Ricardo Jean. Really nice job with kind of coming up with a game plan. Good use of multi-body there. I think that was really impressive how he kind of got into it and decided, you know what, instead of trying to create the one shape and then cut around the other shape, I'm just gonna do it with multi-body. Oh, and he's even got his own victory cat there. Okay, nice. Wow, <laughs> kind of a manual victory cat there. I like it, well done. So instead of, instead of trying to uh, create that original geometry and fight around that original geometry, Ricardo Jean deciding to go in there and do that with multi-body. I thought that was a really, really clever solution. Definitely an example of somebody who's who's uh, been around the block as far as SolidWorks goes and kind of was able to quickly come up with a game plan there. I like it. I like it. Well done, my friend. Kind of a cool part there too, right? That, uh, that uh, tabbed washer. That could definitely be like a part that you might need to get prototyped and you might reach out to our friends over at Zometry to get a part.